We will now look at adjective clauses. The think tank. The think tank at the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. is an exhibit that is unique. The project, which scientists call the think tank, a place to think about thinking, examines the biological thinking process of animals. Scientists who have different opinions about which animal behaviors actually involve thinking say thought has three elements, image, intention, and flexibility. The scientists at the think tank are studying these elements in many different animals, but it is the orangutans who are seen as the stars of the exhibit because they are learning to use symbolic language on a computer. Students notice that the writing in green gives us examples of adjective clauses. We used who or that as the subject of an adjective clause. Scientists who have different opinions about animal behavior say thought has three elements who have different opinions about animal behavior goes back to scientists. Or we can use that. The think tank at the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. is an exhibit that is unique. That refers to exhibit. Remember to always place your adjective clause after the noun it is describing. Use whom, which, that, or nothing as the object of the verb in an adjective clause. The project examines the biological thinking process. Scientists call the project the think tank. In the first sentence, the project is the subject of the sentence. In the se second sentence, the project is the object. We look at the second sentence to determine if the adjective clause is going to be subject or object. Since project is in the object position, we know it's going to be an object adjective clause. The project, which scientists call the think tank, examines the biological thinking process, which takes the place of project, and even though it's an object, it comes before the subject scientist, because it has to be next to the noun project, which it is describing. Choose all of the possible completions. The think tank is an exhibit blank is very interesting. What do you think? The correct answers are B and C, that and which, because this is a subject adjective clause and it's talking about exhibit which is a thing. We know it's a subject because it comes before the verb. There is no other subject in that adjective clause. Number two, the scientists blank work there are studying thinking. Choose your answers. A and B are correct because they are describing scientists who are people, so we may use who or that, and this is a subject adjective clause. Number three, let's go to the new exhibit blank Tom told us about. What do you think? Here our choices are B, that, C, which, D or nothing because exhibit is a thing and this is an object adjective clause. Tom is the subject of the clause 
and told is the verb. Number four, it's the scientist blank are studying the orangutans. Your turn. A and B, not C, I don't know why they just circled C. It should be A and B because scientists are people and so we have the choice of A and B. And it's a subject adjective clause. Number five, the think tank is a place blank I'd like to visit. Our choices are B, C, or D, that, which, or nothing. We are talking about a place, which is a thing, I'd like to visit. It's an object adjective clause. And number six, the study is a thing, so we may use that or which. We can't use nothing because this is a subject adjective clause. That or which would be the subject of the adjective clause with the verb goes. Let's continue. The orangutans are the ones whose language ability is being examined. Four orangutans are being used or being trained to use a special computer which is set up so they can learn around 70 different symbols. These symbols, which consist of seven categories such as food and verbs, use simple shapes. For example, a rectangle by itself means food. Scientists want to see if once the orangutans learn the symbols, they can put words together to express thoughts. The orangutans visit the think tank when they want, and their participation is voluntary. The building where they live is linked to the think tank by cables that they can travel back and forth on. On days when they go to the think tank, they can choose if they want to participate or just watch. We are going to be looking at whose, when, and where. We use whose to show possessive. Whose takes the place of a possessive pronoun, such as my, your, our, his, him, or Sarah's, the teachers, the students. The orangutans are the ones whose language ability is being examined. Whose always comes before a noun. If you see a noun, such as language, you know it's going to be whose. Whose language ability is being studied? The orangutans. We use when to modify time to describe time. On days when they go to the think tank, they can choose if they want to participate or just watch. What does when refer to? On days they go to the think tank. Where describes a place. The building where they live is linked to the think tanks by cables. Which place is where referring to? The building, the think tank. Make one sentence out of the two sentences by using adjective clause. I will give you a few moments to work on it yourself. Number one, the think tank where all this activity takes place is in the zoo. 
Number two, the scientists study the animals when they are awake. Here are some children whose parents have brought them to the zoo. Review. Complete the sentences. More than one answer may be possible. The symbols have no visual rep relationship to the words blank they represent. Your choices are that, which, or nothing. In number two, the think tank is the only place in the world blank visitors have free access to this type of research. And we could choose where or nothing. Number three, the words blank the orangutans are learning will be used to form simple sentences. Your choices are that, which, or nothing. Number four, how do the orangutans make the connection from the word to the thing blank it represents? That, <coughs> which, or nothing. This PowerPoint gave you an overview of adjective clauses. It did not, however, talk about the use of commas. Please refer back to your text to review the use of commas.